Hello, I'd like to show you my PEMF uh, device which I've cobbled together just using bits that I'm knocking about. We've got the mains coming in, 230 mains here because we're in the UK, rectified on a heatsink to DC, fed into a bank of three photo flash capacitors. These are each one 3,300 microfarads and they're suitable up to 400 volts. They're in parallel then they feed through to the coil via a switching device that's knocked up out of a windscreen wiper motor. And when I switch the motor on, you can see the switching action between these two bits of copper here. The thing isn't earthed, so if I do accidentally touch one of these, nothing happens, to me at least. Uh, I know, because I've done it already. Okay, what we'll do, switch it on. Oh, I should have should mention, the heat gun here acts as a limiting resistor, so the current flowing into the capacitors initially isn't too great. So we'll hear that st stop and start as the, uh, the thing discharges and charges. Also, we've got a little fan going, just to keep the whole thing fairly cool. Right, here we go. Let's plug it in, and watch the sparks fly. Okay. Low inductance coil. Stick it on yourself any way you like, and you do see a certain amount of muscular reaction taking place, which looks a bit like it's fake, but there is a fair bit of current being dumped through this coil in a very short period of time. And if you want to prove that, let's see what the effect on our aluminium sheet on here is. I haven't measured the current yet, I'd be quite interested to see exactly how big it is. And I'll also be interested to see whether there's any beneficial effect that I can actually uh, detect from this little machine. The next step though is to replace the contactor with a big fat puck thyristor. We'll get some much cleaner switching and we'll see how that goes in a separate video.